Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jarrell here holding it down for Jarrell Fitness, and y'all already know, man. It's time to grow, bro. As you guys can see, I'm, still, I'm wearing the same shit, you know what I'm saying, that I was wearing on the last video. That's because um, today is a day where me and Gary is working out. So, yep. I'm taking this chance, this, this opportunity to go ahead and make a, you know, a few videos about different subjects and shit, just to kind of knock everything out. Plus, I got the homeboy Gary right here, so it's a good time for me to go ahead and do that. Yeah, we on film today. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, in this video, I kind of want to talk about a topic that's um, been coming up lately, um, especially when it relates to people that I know personally, um, um, not subscribers, but maybe just people I know personally, whether they're friends, family, um, just random people or whatever like that. So um, I've been noticing that pretty much in the whole fitness community as a whole, not just a YouTube fitness community, but just fitness community as a whole, oh, yeah. um, separate from the internet and everything like that, there's this misconception that you have to go to the gym, okay? Because we're outside of LA Fitness right now, okay? That's what we just left out of. We did a nice workout, you know, chest and shoulders workout. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people are under the misconception that you actually have to go to the gym multiple times in a week just to see some good results. A lot of people think that if you step into the gym that you're just guaranteed to get results. Like no matter, you know, if you just go there um, once a week, you know, they just think that if they go there once a week that they're just gonna get all these good gains and they're just gonna, like going to the gym, like there's some type of fucking, you know, magical potion. That's not You true. know, like some type of magical potion in the gym so when you step in that bitch and God damn it, the shit gonna <laughs> Come float. Out. It's gonna you float. Gonna flame right, right. Up. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. gonna flame up with some magical powers <laughs> and you're just gonna get big and yoked and big and jacked and in no, shape. That's you not know? Gonna right. It's not gonna work that way. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people have to realize that you have to conform fitness into your personal life. They they're two separate things. Now, to be truly honest with you guys, when I first started training, I never really went to the gym. But I would get some nice gains just working out at home. I knew that my life was busy. I knew I had a wife, I had a child, I had a, a job while I was working nights at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, I had to do what I had to do to make sure that I got my workout in. Now, I had to be realistic with myself. I knew I was working nights, okay? I knew I had a wife, I knew I had a son. I couldn't just neglect my son and my wife and my job to go to the gym. Because guess what? <laughs> the gym ain't paying my fucking bills. You sure, feel what man. I'm saying? You can't even live up in that place. You can't, you can't live up in there. Well, so, matter of fact, let me check that out. <laughs> you stupid. Yeah. But you can't. But you can't. You can't live in the gym. The gym ain't gonna pay your bills. So, like I said, at the end of the day, if it come down to you making your money in the gym, fuck the gym. I'm making some fucking money. That's what it's you gotta what be. It's gotta be. So like you that. have to make it to where as though you can get your workouts in without going to the gym. If you can't make it to the gym. Cause like I say, we just being realistic about it. You mm. feel what I'm saying? Like, nope. don't don't set yourself up for failure. I know some people that have a busy ass job. They got multiple kids, a wife, all type of shit going on. They barely get rest, and they're trying to go to the gym four or five times a week. It's just not gonna happen. You're setting it's yourself up for failure. failure. Yeah, you, you know what I'm possible. saying? But so that's the too best much of a schedule. Right. Too much in one. Right. It's too much. So you yeah, have to yeah. find ways to try to get around that. Now, me personally, guys. To be truly honest with you guys, I only go to the gym two days a week. Two days a week, that's it. And if it wasn't, I'm telling you, to be truly honest with you, if I didn't have to go to the gym at all, I wouldn't even go to the gym. If I had all that equipment in my in my garage, I wouldn't even go to the fucking gym. But that's the way I do it. I work out two times at home, and I work out two times at the gym. That's just how I do it, because that fits for my life. To be truly honest with you guys, also, I probably would not have the progress that I have now if I was one of those people that just had to go to the gym Four days, four to five days a week. It's just my life is too busy. So Everybody I have life to, is busy to, to be running around and going to the gym and, and, and trying to do all that at one time. Right. You're going to miss out on something. You gonna, but you can't miss out on paying them bills. You can't miss out on paying them bills. So can't just be a realist it. with it. So what I went ahead and did, I went ahead and invested into a home gym. Yep. I worked hard, put some money to the side. I went ahead and got me a flat bench. Um, I got a couple of weights, you know, and I just had to do what I could until I can get to the to the point where I have that available time to start going to the gym, mm -hmm. which, you know, I'm, I'm blessed because I have that extra time in my life now. So like I said, Ooh, that's, that's cool. the way it go down. So don't, you know, don't fool yourselves. A lot of people, they feel like if they're working out at home in their home gym, that they're not going to get the results that they're going to get from the gym. That's bullshit. No, that's not true. It's, it's bullshit. You can get the same results at home. You work out at home. Right. You can get the same results at home that you get in the gym so it really don't make too much of a difference here yeah, the gym got a few more fancy glittery, glittery looking machines and especially when it comes to women like a lot of women think that 
if they do like a little workout at home and different like little body weight exercises that they're not going to make any progress because like let's, let's face it women are very busy especially if you're a mother you got multiple children you're working you're trying to take care of the home like i say yeah. a lot of women don't have that time to go to the gym so why not go ahead and do a little research and find yourself a nice little program where you can buy some little dumbbells, a little bench, and just do your workout in your living room and just do it that way. Any way you can get your workout in by any means necessary, get that shit done. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what it boils down to. So I just wanted to talk about that real quick. And um, like I say, the gym, in the gym, there's no magical potion that's going to give you results. You can do the same shit at home if you have the money. To, to invest into a home gym you or a workout area. You don't need a whole area. lot of money to even you don't do it because stuff don't. is cheap. You can find stuff on stuff sale. Whatever cheap. city or state you live in, exactly. somebody is selling some kind of they weight selling for something. you. They selling something for you to work with. Yep. They, they selling something. Everything is not expensive. You can, go on, cra you can go on Craigslist. Craigslist. You can yep. go on eBay. You can look up different used equipment. Um, I ain't trying to say get a damn leg press and put that shit up in your crib, but I'm just saying the basic shit like a flat bench, um, some, some dumbbells, dumbbells, adjustable dumbbells, a bar, and like I say, a lot of y'all are busy, so I'm just keeping it real with yourself. Just keep it real with yourself. Set yourself up to succeed. Don't set yourself up for failure. When you know you don't have the time to get into the gym four days a week, don't try to get a plan that has you going to the gym. Try to do half and half and yep. just work it out. So anyway, guys, I just want to get that off my chest and talk to y'all about that. If you like the video, go ahead and like it, comment, and subscribe to your boy Jarrell here at Jarrell Fitness. And like I said in the beginning, y'all already know it's, it's time, time to, to grow, grow, bro. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces. Deuces.